Yo, what's good? It's your boy Holies. You already know what it is. And today, I'm going to be running through with y'all how to min max your gear. It's getting to that point in Tower Fantasy's life where right now we're kind of hitting that that level off point where it's like, what what am I supposed to be doing right now? Um, the best thing would be min maxing your gear. If you are running joint ops, or if you're using your joint ops stuff and getting this gear, you'll want to know what kind of gear am I looking for. So, um, me personally, I'm waiting until level 60 or 70 before I start using my vitality on joint ops. Right now, I'm still running Omni and Beacons because I want I want a full I want a full thing of gold, bro. You know what I mean? I'm trying to I'm trying to act up. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just I'm waiting until level 70 before I start using my vitality solution. And I'm gonna go crazy on the gear, and then y'all gonna see what a what a good account looks like. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I got it all planned out. But that's besides the point. Before we get into the video, I do want to say the Nintendo Switch giveaway has been completed. Uh, the homie, where's he at? Where's he at? The homie Grinding Tavern has confirmed that he has received his Switch. So if you guys weren't part of the stream where he won, that was like three weeks ago. It was on me, my lazy ass. My lazy ass told him on the 11th. I was like, yeah, bro, don't worry. I'm about to I'm about to ship it out tomorrow. I ain't ship it out until like Thursday, like last week, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But at the end of the day, he got it. That's all that counts, right? That's all that counts. It don't matter when. It just matters that he did. Now, like I told you guys before, there is a second giveaway. You guys are probably like, I didn't see that video. Well, I talked about it slightly, but I didn't want to get too much into the details until after the switch was already given away, verified, all of that. Okay, because then people are like, well, what happened to the Switch? It's it's gone. He has it. Okay. The second giveaway is a PlayStation. Uh, this bitch is dusty. It has been here for a while. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Um, I think I got it back in July preparing for this giveaway. God damn, this bitch is dusty and it's heavy. So it is the Horizon Edition. Like I told y'all once before, I was going to keep the game in the controller, bro. I was going to keep the extra controller in the game. It was supposed to be a PlayStation 5 giveaway. However, they put it all in the same box and I'm not trying to open it. So y'all get the game in the controllers too. Lucky y'all. Unlucky me. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? It doesn't matter. Y'all get it now. Okay, listen. That giveaway will actually be based. It's not going to be based off of Twitch. It's actually going to be a YouTube giveaway. It's going to be based off my second channel. Now, I was talking to my homie about it. I said, what should be the goal for this giveaway? And he was like, bro, it's a PlayStation 5. You better not make it something small. So he wanted me to do 5,000. I was gonna initially do 1,000, but we came to a consensus and we're gonna do 3,000 subscribers on the second channel. Now, this also plays a part on me because I have to work, right? Unless unless 3,000 of y'all just go sub to the channel right now, which that would be awesome. It would be awesome, but <laughs> I have to work, right? I have to post and upload and stuff to that channel as well. So I will be doing that. The first video will be the Booty Creek Cheek Freak coming soon, probably this weekend. I'm gonna be dropping that video, so check, get ready for that, check that out. That giveaway will be based on the second channel and what I'm going to be doing to give it away is similar to what I do when I'm streaming and do a giveaway. I'm going to be rolling the comments of the video, so you will have to like and comment the videos to win the giveaway. Okay, I'm gonna be posting it and I'm gonna choose random videos. So make sure y'all are commenting because if y'all aren't commenting and I and you didn't comment on this video that I happened to pick, that's on you, that's not on me. So I will most likely pick, by the, by the time the, by the time we hit 3,000 subscribers, I will pick 16 videos that are on that channel. If there's not 16, by, like let's say y'all run that bitch up today, as soon as we're done, I'll roll 16 comments in general based off the videos that are there already and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so 3,000 subs on the second channel for the PlayStation 5 giveaway. We're gonna roll the comments, 16 comments get picked, we run a tournament the winner of the, the winner of the tournament wins the playstation 5 second place and third place will win a tower fantasy battle pass i know pretty big difference in, in goals but that gives you a reason to win so good luck to everybody that wants to participate and uh let's get into the video let's talk about gear all right pretty this is going to be a pretty straightforward video the homie at the data mine central afro D diy i don't know if that's how you pronounce it now. i'm gonna just call him afro the homie afro Dropped some information today about the characteristics and everything about gear. I thought I'd go over them real quick to help you guys kind of understand if you guys did see it and what to be looking for on your stats um, that your armor can roll. First off, as you guys know, there is, what is that, eight pieces of gear that we can obtain as of right now. There may be some more when 2.0 comes out. We'll get into that when 2.0 comes out. But as of right now, you can have eight pieces of gear. There's a head, 
shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and There's eight. <laughs> so you get the head, shoulders, the chest guard, the wrist guard, the belt, the gloves, the leggards, and the boots. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. The two main pieces that we kind of focus on are the gloves and the boots because they're the only two that can roll crit. Okay, so you want to make sure that those two have crit on them and hopefully when you roll them, you will get crit. Okay, so we look at my boots, they don't have crit. These boots are dog shit. We look at my gloves, they have crit and they've rolled into crit at least once. I think they might have only hit crit once, flame attack ones and attack ones. Now, if we look at some of the other gear that I haven't rolled on yet, we can see some of the base stats for the random stats, right? So attack usually starts at 52. Elemental attack usually starts at 69. And we can see this from my leg piece because it has a bunch of volt. It has every last one of them and it hit resistance once and flame attack once. So if you guys have played other games with this, which most gacha games have something like this implemented into them, whether it's runes, artifacts, whatever you want to call it, they have some sort of random rolling system with the gear to make you stronger because it kind of gives you that RNG aspect and feel of a game, which is kind of nice. Um, a lot, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I kind of like the RNG aspect where you get that roll. It just feels so good when you hit that bitch like four times. Oh my God, y'all know the feeling. Y'all know the feeling. It just feels so nice. Unfortunately for me, all of my pieces have been doggy dog so far, so I haven't been able to get that feeling yet. I haven't got that piece where I'm like, please roll. We'll get there. Don't even worry about that. We'll get there. Um, so be ready for that because we're going to be rolling like like a mug on these videos uh, once I get the stuff. So like I said, the gloves and the boots are the only ones that can get crit. OK, the rest of them, you're going to want to be trying to roll volt attack and attack rolls or frost attack and attack rolls. Whatever, whatever gear piece you're looking for, you're going to make sure that that elemental damage is there. Now, if we look at the chart here for the legendary and epic pieces, that our homie Afro has provided us, you will see the the initial value, which is what I was showing you. The elemental attack usually starts at 69. The uh, attack is usually 52 and crit is usually 258. Now this min upgrade and max upgrade is when you roll into it. So like if I were to upgrade, let's say my boots, right? If I enhance my boots right now, it, it advanced them, All right? They level up. I have volt attack here. Okay, I could get Again, these boots are ass, so I'm not ranking them up because they don't have crit and I literally don't care about them. But if I were going to, right, my volt attack is 266 right now. What it's saying is when I advance that, then it could either go up by a minimum of 125 or a maximum of 312. Okay, so that's what this chart here is saying. Okay, this is the same thing for all of these. If you're if you roll attack for the first time, if you if you never if you never touch the attack on a gold piece, let me see if I have a piece like that where I haven't touched the attack yet. There it is. Attack starts at 52 right here, and there's flame attack. So if I wanted to run a flame piece, which I'm pretty sure, you know, I might one day, this piece would not be a bad piece. Okay. I just need to make sure when I roll it that it hits flame attack and attack. Okay, perfect rolls would mostly be in flame attack. Perfect rolls would mostly be in flame attack. So when I use my fire weapons, it'll go up. Now, it's this, like I said, it's the same thing for all of them. When I when I do that roll, max upgrade 234, min is 93. It could probably be anywhere in between. And that's like this for all of the stats, okay? Again, eight pieces that you can roll on. Head, shoulder, chest, wrist, belt, gloves. You want to try to get crit on the gloves and the boots everything else you want to try if you if you're not a tank if you're a tank you know you want some of these resistances and stuff like that you probably want a little bit of it regardless but the main thing for dps is attack elemental attack and crit okay and you can only get crit on two pieces so i mean it's it sounds like a lot but it's pretty simple at the end of the day especially with this chart you know how the highest rolls you can get um and the lowest rolls you can get you know what you're looking for on what pieces Literally every other piece, if you're if you're going for damage, you want attack and some kind of elemental attack, right? Attack and some elemental attack, right? That's that's what you want. On every other piece, gloves, you're looking for crit. Boots, you're looking for crit. Uh, these stats are always going to be the same on uh, whatever piece you're on. It literally doesn't matter. So the random attributes, that's what you're looking for. When you get a nice piece, lock it, and you can lock your gear by clicking on it and clicking lock simple as that make sure you lock that shit when you get a good piece 
even if you haven't rolled it yet if you if you literally just get the piece right and you're like this looks good you know you look at it you're like okay my boots they have crit they have volt attack you know i'm gonna roll this later lock it lock it because when you're leveling up another piece and you maybe haven't gotten to that one yet it will feed it okay <laughs> so lock it i just want to make sure y'all know that so i mean honestly that's about it make sure y'all check out my second channel in the description like i said playstation 5 giveaway based off of that i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one much love for watching i appreciate y'all man hope this helps it's been your boy holy it's like always man check out the other videos i got on the channel